So quickly, see, looking at terminologies, uh, we'll be looking at the meaning of what lateral and medial, okay, in anatomy and orthopedics. So it's basically the same thing. When you say lateral and medial, basically orthopedics, the terminology of orthopedics are the same terminologies used in anatomy, all right? So we we'll talk about lateral and medial. So let me just use this image to explain everything before we start reading all this text. If you look at the human body, if you want to divide the human body into two, they must actually what pass a line like this, straight down. So if something is moving towards this line or closer to this line, you see that the thing is what? Medial. It's moving medial. If the thing is moving away from the line, you see that the thing is what? Going lateral. So let's look at these two terminologies. We get to the definition and differences between. So in anatomy and orthopedics, lateral and medial are directional terms. Okay, you don't need to say the thing is moving closer to me. This is down. It's like a layman's language. So that is moving, moving medial. Do you understand? So there are directional terminologies used to describe the position of a structure, and is related to the midline of the body. Okay. It's related to a midline that is drawn like this. Moving away is lateral. Moving close is what? Medial. You get it. So let's talk about lateral now. Lateral is like moving away from the midline of the body towards the other side. You get it. For example, you can now say what? The ears are lateral to the eyes, are away from the eyes. Okay? That means what? The ears are further away from the central axis of the body than compared to the eye. The eye, of course, is close to the midline. The ears are far. Do you understand? Then let's talk about media now. Media simply means what? Going towards the midline. You are coming towards the midline. All right? Going towards the midline, which is closer to the center. All right? So if, for example, the big toe is on the medial side of the foot. Look at your big toe. It's closer to the midline. All right? So this means what well, the big toe is closer to the body's midline compared to this little toe, right? Little toe is lateral. So these terms are actually crucial for accurately what describing locations and movements of body parts in both clinical settings and anatomical studies. So you don't need to be talking like a lame man, okay? You have to learn the language of anatomy and orthopedics, all right? So that's it for this lateral and medial you should be using what? Anatomy and orthopedics. The meaning and the differences between and all of that.